Hey there folks and welcome back to another What's New in the Den and today I was going to talk about J. Peterman, 1903. It's well worth talking about, let me tell you. And I was going to talk about the Razor Rock uh, Baby Smooth. And we're going to get to these, just not today. Because two other things uh, arrived today and they demand my immediate attention. And one of them is going to be upsetting to Tom Brim. He'll be happy later but he's gonna be upset for now. But let me start with a brush that I received today from Peter Wolf of Wolf Whiskers Customs, who is, as most of you know, an incredible brush maker. Check out these boxes that he ships them in. Just, just class, very nicely packed. And out comes a brush that Peter and I talked about, the TSE brush. And I told Peter that I wanted um, like a dual tone blue brush and as you can see down here it's light it's darker up here it's beautiful this is a synthetic knot it's one of uh, Peter's knots it's got the beautiful Wolf Whiskers logo there and we're going to give this a try today the TSE brush by Wolf Whiskers and it's beautiful in fact let me go ahead and show you a, a few pics so you can get a better look at it take a look All right, so there you have a look at the TSE brush by Wolf Whiskers, which is, I think it's beautiful, and I'm, I'm really honored by Peter. Um, great looking brush, Peter. Thanks so much, and we're gonna give it a go here in a minute. I'm gonna talk about the second half of today's um, things I received that's really exciting. And it's not LPV. Tom Bram once called this Soap of the Gods. It's a great soap. But today, in came Katie's Bubbles, um, Le Marche du Rassage. I think that's how you pronounce it or something close to it. And this is the official soap of the Shave Market Facebook group. Um, matter of fact, it says here, the first official custom soap of the Shave Market. Now, this was exclusive to the Shave Market, but it is going to be released to the general public at some point. I don't know when. But what I got to tell you guys, this stuff here from the scent, and we're going to see how it lathers in a minute, but the scent of this is incredible. Um, I've had a great week because I was really incredibly impressed with Cold River earlier in a week and now Katie's Bubbles. I mean, this to me blows LPV away. It, it's just not even close in my mind in terms of scent. It is just incredible. It smells like a really nice sophisticated cologne to my nose. Scent strength is, is very, very good, like around a five to me. And it just smells like a really nice, sophisticated cologne to my nose. Now, I don't have any information to show you on the description of this because it's not up right now on the Katie's Bubbles website. But I also want to call your attention to the label here. Very classy uh, label. And compare it to the old, and there's nothing wrong with the old, don't get me wrong, but I think this, um, the Marche du Rissage, which stands for the Shave Market, the Facebook group, is a much classier look. So I'm very, very happy for Chris Cullen. It just, it, to me, it's much classier, not that the other one wasn't, but this just steps it up several levels, both in scent and, um, and packaging. And you know, this is going to be a good quality soap. Again, we're going to get to it, but I also want to show you the, uh, aftershave toner and the same scent which I smelled it's incredible and we'll use it after I get this soap off my face. This folks I think is going to be the new soap of the gods. I, Tom Bram I'm sorry. This guy you're going to want to move this on to the back when the, once this comes. I almost guarantee it. Now um, when it will go for sale I don't know. You'll have to ask Chris but I'm telling you right now I love the scent of this out of the jar. It is my favorite Katie's bubble scent. And I already know the soap's going to be of good quality. So, you know, I can declare this the soap of the gods right now. It's going to usurp LPV, not that LPV is a bad soap. Great stuff. Whoever worked with Chris Cullen on this, and I don't know if it was Jason Spiegelman or other guys in the shave market. Excellent, excellent job. This stuff is incredible. Okay, let's stop yapping and get to lathering. All right, set this aside. 
I'm not going to soak the uh, puck because you don't really need to with uh, Katie's Bubbles. It's an easy lathering soap. And uh, <laughs> Brian Wells, actually, the other day, I watched his video, The Shaving Geek, he calls himself. And he thought, he declared at that point that he felt this was going to um, be Katie's Bubbles' number one seller in unseat LPV. And I agree with him. Brian Wells, I agree with you 100%. I think this is two or three times better than LPV. And Tom Brim, you're going to agree when you get it. And you will get it. I know you're tight. I know you don't want to spend money, but trust me. Just trust me on this. You're going to want it. All right. We've got a load here. Let me wet my face and let's slather this. Oh, man, does it smell good. By the way, the loft on this brush I had set a little bit higher. And it's feeling pretty good so far. Like the way it's feeling. The soap, man, just... Whew, get a little water here. The soap is just feeling, I think, incredible. Oh, yeah. And by the way, guys, Peter Wolf is a veteran, if you didn't know that. So when you're buying uh, his brushes, you're supporting a, a veteran. And I think he recently retired, if I'm not mistaken. And he's out there making brushes to feed his kids, and he's got a number of kids. I won't say how many, but it's a lot, believe me, so... Support uh, Peter Wolf from Wolf Whiskers and all these artists and brush makers who are really fabulous. You know, there's Nathan Clark, Rudy Vay, and Peter Wolf. And Peter and I talked a lot, and we talked about a TSC brush. And, and combined with this soap, it is a wonderful experience. And, you know, really, I didn't have to lather this soap because we know it's going to perform incredibly and as you can see here it lathers super easily no problem at all and let's just go ahead and remove some of this we know it's going to be good stuff <laughs> you know there's no question about that this is just oh man does it smell good i mean i'm telling you folks brian well said it the other day i'm gonna say it today oh new soap of the gods right here i mean Oh, it feels great. No burning or irritation on my face. To me, this is Chris Cullen's best soap scent. Now, some people, you know, may prefer other scents of his, but this is incredible. Let me have a moment to remove this from my face, and I will come back and try this aftershave toner, which smells great, too. And by the way, performance on this is exactly what you expect from Katie's Bubbles. Top notch. Stand by, folks. All right, guys, so we're back, and that was a wonderfully enjoyable experience lathering that Katie's Bubbles. Uh, we'll call it uh, LMR. LMR for Le Marche du Rossage. The shave market, official soap, but I'm told will be released to the masses at some point in the near future. Now, the uh, aftershave toner, it says it has aloe, um, glycerin, witch hazel. I'm not going to read all of them, but there's some good stuff in here. A little bit of alcohol towards the end, so let's give it a go. Let me shake it up a little first. Nice container with a flip top. I like that. The um, color of this kind of a milky color. Oh man, this smells good. Same fragrance as the uh, soap. Feels good on the skin. Don't know how long this will stick around, but I got to tell you, the scent on this is so nice that regardless of the staying power, I will keep it because I like the scent that much. So Chris Cullen, Skipper, you knocked it out of the park, buddy. I mean, <laughs> this is awesome. And let us not forget Peter Wolf with the TSC brush here, which I think is just incredibly beautiful. Had a good lather with it. We'll use it to shave tomorrow and see how it goes. Um, again, don't forget Wolf Whiskers and certainly don't forget Katie's Bubbles. I know both gentlemen, both guys, very, very nice guys. Give them support. I think you're going to be happy with their products. And if you don't want a, a TSC type brush, get your own uh, custom from Peter Wolf. Um, great guys. Well worth spending your money with these two artisans. You guys have a great day. Have a great shave.